Well, yeehaw! I'm John Zadar. This is May 15th, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. And you're watching On Top and Hot, where I like to share with you hot OTC and penny stocks that I come across. And boy, have I got a juicy one for us today. I have been watching this stock for a little while because they've got some innovative products, products that have not changed in over 120 years. And right now is the right time to be looking at them because their products are urgently needed here in America. There is a crisis, folks. So I want to share this information with you now because now is the right time and you're in the right place. Let's go take a look. So now that I've got you curious, you're wondering, what juicy stock did you find us? What I got is Else Nutrition Holdings, ticker B-A-B-Y-F, Baby F. And we're going to be doing our initial due diligence over here at my number one go-to site, otcmarkets.com website. Now, I come here for one simple reason. It's never outdated. Never. The FEMA and the SEC update this site every single day. And I'm going to be honest, folks. I have not yet found another site where all 12,000 plus securities are updated daily. This is the only one. So why waste my time going to Google searching through decades of old information when I can come here and get the most current information quick and easy, easy peasy. So we are looking at Baby YF. Finished the day at 93 cents with just a little over 3% gains. Not much, I know, but as I said, she is under the radar. Now, the truth of the matter is the company did have news today, and it was pretty decent news, as most of their news is. However, that's not why we're looking at this. There's other news. There is big news out there right now, and this company is going to be affected indirectly, if not directly, because of what's going on right now, and that's why I'm showing this to you. She is on the OTC QX. That is the best tier of the OTC market. Literally, that's what they call it, the best tier. That's because they don't just audit their financials. They supply a lot of information to their shareholders. This is the most transparent tier you can have on the OTC market. So much so that this company could easily be on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange if they met the price requirement and requested to go up there. They have a verified profile and they got a transfer agent verified. These are important ticks, folks. You want to see these over here. This is information that the OTC market is validating and verifying behind the scenes. You want to see these here, so this looks good. They do have independent directors. You must have these if you plan to uplist. So if they have aspirations to go to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange, they are standing ready. They are also penny stock exempt. Now, this is a good thing, and most people aren't quite familiar with penny stock exempt. You can see the stock is a penny stock. It's under $5. Any stock under $5, regardless of where it's sold, is a penny stock. And this is on the OTC market, but it is not a penny stock anymore. How's that so? Well, click this, and you can get some information here, right up here at the top for us. They have three criteria. Meet any one of these, and you are penny stock exempt and do not have to be burdened by all the rules that the penny stocks and the OTC stocks have to follow. What are those three criteria? Well, the first one is if your share price is over $5. They didn't meet that one. They're only at 93 cents. Second one, you have to have revenues of at least $6 million over the last three years. No, I've looked at their financials. They haven't even broke $6 million yet. The last one, you have to have assets of at least $2 million and have been in business for at least three years or have $5 million in assets if you've been in business less than three years. This is the one they've obviously qualified under, and it seems to me it is the uh, excess of $2 million if you've been in business for three years. Whatever it is, they are now penny stock exempt. Yeah, they look like a penny stock. They smell like a penny stock, but they're not a penny stock. So what does this company do? Well, we do have a little bit of information here, but it's not enough. So we're going to jump over to a news press. This gives us some more information. Else Nutrition is an Israel-based food and nutrition company focused on developing innovative, clean, plant-based food and nutrition products for infants, toddlers, children, and even adults. Its revolutionary plant-based non-soy formula is a clean ingredient alternative to dairy-based formula. No dairy, no soy. 
Else Nutrition won the 2017 Best Health and Diet Solutions Award in Milan's Global Food Innovation Summit. They also won the Best Dairy Product Alternative at the World Plant-Based Expo in 2021 in New York. Else Plant-Based Complete Nutrition for Toddlers was recently ranked as the number one top seller in the baby and toddler formula category on Amazon. So this is what they do. They deal with baby products. And when we jump on over to their website, you can see the three products that they are primarily involved with right now. Their newest product is their certified baby cereal, Safe from Heavy Metals. Their primary product is their baby formula, which we're going to get into because this seems to be a very serious issue in the United States right now. And their third product is a shake for kids. And of course, all of them are nutritionally balanced and organic. Matter of fact, you get more information over here about their products. Uh, this is the first First viable choice other than dairy and soy in over 120 years. Imagine that. 120 years and we've had no innovations in formula really. Three main ingredients you can actually pronounce. Almonds, tapioca, and buckwheat. They're right. Those are easy to pronounce. And those are the three primary ingredients for all of their products. No hormones, antibiotics, or GMOs. 100% dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, corn syrup-free, and cruelty-free. Well, that's good. 92% <laughs> whole plant ingredients. This is the answer for nearly 30% of families choosing a flexitarian lifestyle. I'm not sure what a flexitarian lifestyle is. 53% of babies under one years old who suffer from food allergies are allergic to cow milk formula. They've also got three people working in the company that have worked with other huge baby formula companies, including Abbott. One game-changing, globally patented, pediatrician-endorsed alternative. Now, as I previously mentioned, the company did have news today, and it was good news, like most of their news is. However, looking at those gains, you can see it didn't get a whole lot of consideration today. And to be honest, I'm not going to give it a whole lot of consideration either or the news from last week or last month. It's all good and I'll show it to you. But what I want to focus on is the national news coming out from ABC, CBS, CNN, Forbes. Folks, there is a baby formula crisis in America right now. And it has been further complicated by more news. And I'm going to share that all with you here in just a few minutes. So what was the relative volume of this company today? <laughs> Not real good. She's normally only doing 133,000 shares a day. Today she did 129,000. So it's falling. Like I said, this is under the radar. It is a buying opportunity, especially with the circumstances lining up the way they are. So what is the share structure on this company? Well, she has 104 outstanding. 104 million for everybody. That is management, institutions, hedge funds, me and you. But just for me and you, they call that the float. That is the unrestricted shares normally. We don't have anything listed here, and I don't normally trust the float numbers they give us down here. So yes, I did a Google search, and I found 62 million roughly is the float, which honestly is a good float. It may not be 5 million or 10 million, but it's a lot better than a billion. 60 million is a nice float. So what are the financials on this company? Whoa, now that is impressive. Look here, folks. Two years ago, they did less than a half a million. One year later, they more than doubled that. And a year later, they more than doubled that. And when you look at 2021 compared to 2019, that is over six times as much income. Balls to the wall, folks. They are going gangbusters here. Really looks good. Let's take a look at their disclosures. Now, this is where I like to look for 8Ks down here. That tells you about mergers, acquisitions, things like that. They don't have anything here. But I do want to share this most recent annual report that came out just a couple months ago. 
Now, in this, it tells us that they're doing just a little over four and a half million dollars in a year, and it is growing. But what I wanted to show you is that they are a Israeli company, but they are founded in Canada and the U.S. as well. On January 23rd, 2020, Else Nutrition USA Inc., a private company, was incorporated in the state of Delaware. Else Nutrition USA is a wholly owned subsidiary of the company. Then on January 25th, 2022, Else Nutrition Canada Inc., a private company, was incorporated in the province of British Columbia. Else Nutrition Canada Inc. is a wholly owned subsidiary of the company. So you've got Israel, United States, and Canada. So they do have their feet planted. They're not just exporting their products from another country. They are right here. Now, I'm not going to go through it all, but there is a lot of good information here laid out real easy to read. They talk about the management, these real strong people that they've brought into the business. They talk about trademarks that they're getting around the world, digital social media marketing partnerships. They're working with Disney, Tory Spelling, Kohl's. These are all people that are helping promote their business. So there's a lot of information here. So come on over to their most recent annual report if you really want to get the nuts and bolts about this company. Now, a lot of those nuts and bolts can actually be found looking at the news presses. They've got lots of news here. And we're only going to go back to about the beginning of the year. Now, we're not actually going to jump into any of these. Actually, the headlines are pretty much self-explanatory. I have highlighted the deals they've made with large grocery store change and platforms online where they can distribute their products. The rest of the stuff has to do with uh, preclinical studies, hiring people, financial reports, stuff like that. But I want you to see how fast they're moving and who is helping them move their products. So here in January, they had two deals. Else Nutrition starts selling on Walmart.com and they start selling on the retail chain Kroger.com. Then in February, KEHE expands Else Kids Nutrition product line with four new flavors to be potentially carried across 30,000 stores. That's impressive. Then we jump all the way up here into April. We got two deals here. Big Y, one of the largest supermarket chains in the Northeast to sell Else Kids nutrition products. And then this one, Else signs a new agreement to expand its products with Rouse's Markets in 65 new locations in the Southern U.S. So you got the Northeast, the Southern, you got Walmart and Kroger, which cover everything. And then up here, today's news. Lassen's, the pioneering organic grocer from California, launches Else's complete nutrition products in all of its stores. So folks, they are expanding and they're expanding at a very quick rate. So they were already getting momentum, but current circumstances have changed things a lot and this company can benefit from that. Let me show you what's going on. So what I got here is a screenshot of the press coverage concerning the baby formula shortage, which is pretty serious and everybody who's anybody is covering it. ABC News, CNN, Wall Street Journal, Fortune, Fox News. Folks, this isn't just serious. It is getting more complicated. This piece of news came out on Thursday. Baby formula shortage worsens as national out-of-stock rate hits 43%. 43%. That means that over 50% of the baby formula usually available in America is not. Look at that picture. What's wrong with that picture? Well, yeah, it's empty. There's nothing on the shelf. But look, they've got the baby formula locked up behind glass. What? Isn't that what you do for cigarettes, model glue, spray paint? Are they doing it for baby formula now? Has it gotten that serious that people are going to steal it? Whoa. Well, they do tell us down here that with bare shelves in stores, purchase limits, that's right, stores only allow you to buy so many since there is a shortage, and online price gouging and scams, parents across the country are struggling to feed formula-fed babies and children with medical conditions that necessitate specialized formulas. News reports are filled with parents driving hours to search stores for formula or posting pleas online. Some are even watering down formula, and are you ready for this one? Or turning to recalled batches contaminated with dangerous bacteria. You didn't know about this? Let me show you real quick. Abbott 
closed the Sturgis plant and recalled its Simlac PM6040, its Simlac, its Alimentum and Elecare powdered formulas manufactured at the Michigan facility. The company said the Chronobacter Saki Zaki was found at the plant, but not in the areas where it makes the product. Nevertheless, on February 17th, the largest infant formula manufacturer in the country, Abbott Nutrition, initiated a voluntary recall of several lines of powdered formula. This came after concerns about a bacterial contamination at Abbott Sturgis, Michigan facility after four infants fell ill and two died. Folks, that is serious. And what is more complicated here is that there are only three companies that really make the formula for the United States, Abbott, Gerber, and Reckitt. And Abbott makes about 40% of it. So you've got these two companies trying to fill that gap and they're not doing very well. And that's why I think else is going to probably end up getting people buying it. Just like when hamburger goes up too much, people are willing to try veggie meat. They'll give it a shot now, considering that beef is three times the price it used to be. So the last piece of news I want to share with you came from, well, you might want to say whistleblower. Somebody that works in our government posted this on our Twitter and Facebook page on Wednesday. Now I've only got pieces of it, but there are actually articles out there now. She's becoming viral. She's put out some very strong information. So because this news is so big, I'm going to jump out of the picture here so that you can see all the news. I want you to get it all. She has determined and discovered that border detention centers are stocking up on baby formula, literally pallets of it, and they're putting notes on it, do not move, do not remove. So they're using it to feed illegal immigrant babies. Now, folks, don't get me wrong. Every baby deserves to eat. Absolutely. But not at the expense of our own kids. That's just right. That's just common sense. It doesn't settle right with the people. So they tell us here, as American families deal with shortage of baby formula across the U.S., a Florida Republican lawmaker has released images of dozens of boxes of coveted product at a migrant processing facility near the U.S.-Mexico border. Representative Kate Kamick shared pictures of pallets of infant formula at the Usler Migrant Processing Center in McAllen, Texas on her Twitter and Facebook pages. And that's it, folks, right there. It is more or less what I would call misappropriation. When you start taking what is in shortage and needed for our own people and giving it to illegal immigrants to take care of them, it's wrong on all levels. I don't want to get into the ethics of their children not being fed. We need it. This is our country. These are American companies making these products for Americans. We should have a right to them. So it is not only hurting us here, but it's not getting on our shelves. It's being put into these detention centers. So for all these reasons, folks, I think Baby F is going to do really well. I think she's going to get a big portion of the market. You've got companies that can't produce enough of this. You've got a lot of it being taken off of the market, being put it into detention centers. And there is no timeout. We can't take a break for this and wait for it to be fixed. So somebody's going to have to fill that gap. Do you know any other companies? Let's go take a look at that chart and see what it looks like. All right, I am ready to take a look at the charts for Baby F, Else Nutrition. And we're going to be doing all of our charting on Think or Swim. It's a free trading platform I got just for signing up for a free account at TD Ameritrade. You can too. Just keep the account open and you can use TOS just like I am. So we are on a six month, four hour chart and we got a high bubble back here of $2.48, a low about three months ago of 72 cents and we are fast approaching that 200 day SMA at 93 cents. Now if I kick this back, you can see that our all time high happened in February of last year at $4.06, all the way up and all the way down. But of course, from February last year, the OTC market on a whole has been falling. So I really don't blame the company for this. She was doing well until the OTC market took a dump. But this was before we had a baby formula shortage. This was before we had uh, contaminations, recalls, misappropriations. So what is the company going to be worth now when they're needed? Hmm? Let's jump back down to that four-hour, six-month chart. 
So she has fallen under the 200 here. She tagged it right here and has been fighting to get over it and losing the battle. You can see she had a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So she is losing the battle and you can definitely see she is bouncing off of a floor right about there, just eyeballing it. You can see she's just been sitting right there. Technicals don't look bad though. Our MACD has got a crossover right now, though it is under the signal line. When it hits the signal line, it'll get some more strength. RSI is light. It's under 50. CCI, Commodity Channel Index, whenever it's pointed up, it's a good thing. Whenever it's near the green, it's a better thing. So that looks good in that sense. Let's come down to that 20-day, one-hour view. Well, yeah, yeah, she's bouncing off that low. Now, I just spitball that in there, but you can see. That's definitely the low that she bounces off of. And we had a low there, right? We had a low there and it bounced off of this extreme low. So that could definitely be a reason for it to be moving. And it has had news and these circumstances are occurring right now around the country with baby formula. So she's got a lot going on right now. Now I want to draw another line here. I want to show this coming down because this is how we look to see if it's going to break out. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to start at the top of the bar. I'm not going to use the wicks. I'm going to use the top of the bar. And I'm going to go across the top of that bar right there and bring this straight down. All right. So we have a floor. She's sitting on the floor, not going anywhere. She's staying underneath this curved vaulted ceiling, right? She hits her head on it, comes down, hits her head on it, comes down. So we expect when it comes to the very point, the very end, that's it. She's going to make up her mind. She either has to break the floor or break the ceiling. She's been cramped up, right? How do we know where she's going to break out? We look at our technicals. If things are pointing up, She's going to go up. If things are pointing down, she's going to go down, just like toothpaste. <laughs> so she gets really squished up here. And off of that low bubble, she seemed to have some momentum, and she actually started to grow here. So I'm thinking she started to bounce off of the low bubble, though she didn't do much. She went sideways. Then came the news today, which wasn't great news, but it was good news. And she got across everything. She was under the 10 here, folks. The price bars under the 10-day SMA, that is the worst position you can be in. Even if you're on top of everything else, if you're on the 20, the 50, you're up there at the top and it comes under the 10, that is the first SMA you've broken. She's on her way to breaking more. She better get on top as soon as possible. So this looks really good here. Now I'm going to draw another line. We're going to grab our new course of action here right there. All right, so now we've got two lines drawn. As a matter of fact, I'm going to come in on that five-day, five-minute, and this probably isn't going to make sense, but she's already broke out. She's already broke out, so I really am not going to need that line. I'm going to get rid of this one right there. Remove. So we've got our new, I can actually move this over to there, activate that drawing, push it up a little bit. There we go, closer. Then I'm going to draw another one across the top because you can see she has a ceiling. These shapes make a lot of of difference folks you can see what's going on because she lives in parameters the price is always living in parameters so here we go the floor is coming up she's bouncing off the ceiling what's gonna happen she's gonna get squished again just like that bottom triangle so we're gonna look down here at the technicals to see which way she bounces and this is the entry points when she gets to that point, when she gets right at those points, you get ready to watch her break out. And when she goes above that line, one, two bars, confirmation, that's your entry. Is it pointing up here? Is it pointing up there in a, near 60? Is this pointing up? And it broke out? Good, good, good. Get into that puppy. And if it's going the other direction and you hold it and it breaks through that floor and things are pointing down, don't jump on to hope. Now, you do have a 200 there. I would wait to see if it would bounce off to 200, but that depends. How much do you want to lose before you test it? This is only from nine, 92 cents to 90 cents. So I'd be willing to see if it would bounce off that and come back. But normally, when you break out, you break out up or down and continue going that way for some distance. So right now, she is actually looking like she is set up to take off, folks. She is approaching the 200 on the one hour, 
on a new ramp up across all the other SMAs with an uh, upward triangle right now. And if you look at the five day, five minute, she is above the 200 with the 50 day right underneath her supporting her that is some excellent support folks i can't say everything looks really strong here but i'm not talking about a runner for tomorrow i'm talking about a stock that's going to start getting some positive attention even on a negative market this is going to be a company that may hit the news can you imagine if a press release comes out you know uh they tell us else nutrition fills the gap for abbott's oh my god how many other people can fill the gap? That's my point. We're looking at a company that has an innovative product, 120 years, the same, the same, the same, and now they've got no soy, no dairy, healthy, and they are here in the country. It doesn't have to be imported. Folks, I'm excited for this company. I think this is a great time to look at it and potentially get in. I don't know where it's going to go ultimately, folks. It depends how bad things get, right? So as you can tell, I am excited about this company. I noticed the company when they first came on the market, but I didn't give them a lot of heed. Don't know why. Maybe it's because I don't have babies anymore. But now, now with this baby formula shortage, with contaminations and recalls, with it being sent to detention centers and pulled away from American markets and given to illegal immigrants, how many other people are doing this? I think this company is in a golden position to take advantage of a bad situation and really prosper from it. So I keep my eye on this company. I would put an alert in for news about this company. Anytime their name comes up in Google, you want to know about it. Watch that chart, folks. It breaks out. It breaks out. It may break out and go to the moon. This company, I think, is a winner. But hey, do your own DD. There's a lot more information that you can read up on. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.